On number one, placing or planting identical plants together or in a row. This may sound weird, but it's true. Though it may look nice with a tidy row of similar trees in your garden, or even if it's container gardening, you tend to place one type of similar plants together. This is a bad idea because if pests or disease strikes, you will lose the whole row. On number two, transplanting a seedling. Many gardeners tend to hold the little ones with their tender stems. This is wrong because stems are tender and this can damage the water and food conducting tubes. That's xylem and phloem passing through the stem. Always lift the seedlings by their leaves and use a fork or a spoon to dig through the roots. On number three, immediately repotting a newly purchased plant from a nursery. If your plant just came home from a local garden center or nursery, let it adjust to its new environment for at least a week before repotting it. This is because the plants are already in shock in their new place and they need to adapt to new factors like light, temperature and humidity conditions. On the contrary, if your plant is purchased online, you have to repot it immediately for reasons quite obvious. On number four, overconfidence. One of the biggest mistakes sometimes experienced gardener make is over reliance on their own experience and knowledge. You are never perfect and the most successful gardeners are usually those who are willing to continue learning and growing in their knowledge. On number five, removing the root ball while repotting. Never pull out the plant by its stem to remove the root ball. Just tap the container on a hard surface gently. It'll come out easily. If it resists, run a knife around the container to loosen the root ball. On number six, using contaminated or dirty tools. We've all been guilty of this one time or another. Digging in different parts of soil with the same tool can transfer pathogens from an afflicted plant to a healthy one. Investing in multiple sets of trowels or spades may not seem to be practical. What you can do is disinfect or clean the tool after use or just wash it with water. You can even use household baking soda or even vinegar for cleaning your tools. You can watch detailed episodes on these topics from links in description below. On number seven, placing a repotted plant in direct sunlight. This is another common mistake most of us commit. The plant is already in transplant shock after repotting. Always keep the plant in indirect light or shade for at least a week before you shift to full sunlight. On number eight, planting too close together that is spacing. Whether it's planting seeds or saplings, planting too close to each other is not useful and will lead to stunted growth of plants due to competition for nutrients in the soil. On number nine, sowing too deeply. This is a common mistake most neophytes commit. If you sow too deep, the seed may not germinate. The general rule of thumb is the seeds should be sown twice or maximum thrice as deep as they are thick. For example, if the seeds are 5 mm thick, sow them 10 mm deep. If the seeds are too tiny, like about less than a millimeter, simply sprinkle them on the top of the soil. On number 10, removing the mother soil during repotting. You should never remove the entire mother soil in which the plant came with during purchase. Unless the soil is too clay or if it's afflicted with diseases like fungus gnats or stuff like that. Just tease the roots and place the root ball into the new container while repotting. On number 11 killing beneficial insects and pollinators like honeybees and butterflies and also the pest eating insects like ladybugs, beetles and many more. You can find a useful video on identifying these insects from a link in description below. On number 12, overwatering. This is the most common mistake and the biggest plant killer. Overwatering or water suffocating the roots can lead to root rot and death of the plant. The best practice is to dip your finger to about an inch into the soil to check for moisture before watering. On number 13, over fertilizing, overfeeding the plant with fertilizers, especially the chemical fertilizers in an attempt to make your plant grow faster can literally kill your plant. The best fix to this problem is to use organic fertilizers like vermicompost, decompost, cow dung or horse dung and stuff like that and stay away from chemical fertilizers. On number 14, not following hardening off process. Hardening off means you, you gradually expose your seedlings to the outside world, mainly the sunlight and get them acclimatized. Once you get your first leaves on your seedlings, you can introduce them to sunlight in an incremental or step-by-step -step exposure. Like for example, one hour for the first day, two hours for the next two days and so on. On number 15, not closely inspecting pest attacks. Pests need to be identified and eliminated carefully. Failure to control the pests, especially aphids, white flies, mealybugs and others can cause heavy damage to your plants. On number 16, hesitating to prune or trim your plants. Pruning or trimming your plants is very much beneficial to the plant and promotes more branching and hence increases the yield. You can watch a detailed video on when and how to prune a plant from a link in the description below. On number 17, allowing weeds to grow. This is an act of laziness rather than a mistake. 
Unwanted plants or weeds will suck out the nutrients from the soil and cause deficiency issues in your main plant. On number 18, not knowing the importance of sunlight. Without sunlight, plants cannot prepare their food and survive. However, the light requirement for every plant is different. But expecting to grow vegetables and fruits without full sunlight exposure is a mistake. As a general rule for most flowering and fruiting plants, at least 6 to 8 hours a day of direct sunlight is indispensable. On number 19, planting invasive plants close to other plants. This can cause again the deficiency issues in weaker plants closer to the stronger invasive ones. As you all know, survival of the fittest. On number 20, relying on unscientific information in gardening. This is the most dangerous mistake. Newbie gardeners tend to watch so many crappy non-scientific gardening information and advices on the internet and damage their plants. Little bit of common sense and applying some basic science is all that's necessary for successful gardening. Happy gardening!